welcome to PPL Bar. Home to your Philadelphia passion. Tonight we have a classic Eastern Conference matchup against the hated Jacksonville Breeze. Many critics have had their doubts about our team, but no one knows Philly sports like we know Philly sports. We're here for a new era of Philadelphia dominance starting tonight. If this is your first NFL game, get ready for what has been called Sports Ultimate Live. how true it is, but I know there's some women who watch professional football because the men have on tight pants. Well, if you ever want to see an extreme contrast to that, you've got to check out the Legends Football League, aka Lingerie Football. Women, this is your opportunity to step away from the computer because the rest of this video could prove to be a bit offensive, but I'm going to give it to you just the way I saw it. It didn't take long to get a taste for what the rest of the night was going to look like. As soon as I took my seat, program lady with her $20 programs made her way up and down the stairs. I've never seen one of these games before, so I thought I'd come to the warm-up. So I watched the ladies in their little warm-up uniforms do their thing. <laughs> Needless to say, by the time warm-ups were over, more than the contestants were warmed up. Well, as you can see, the field that they play on is only 50 yards long. It doesn't have any goal post. It's about maybe a little more than one quarter of the soccer pitch. As the ladies come out of the tunnel getting ready for the start of the game. The other thing that you notice is that their warm-ups don't look like the player uniforms. They actually have shoulder pads, a funky-looking push-up sports bra, and uh, not much else. Oh yeah, they do wear spikes, and they have a helmet that looks more like a biking helmet than a football helmet. The rules are very similar to regular football. They play four quarters, uh, they're eight-minute quarters, and there's a two-minute warning at the end of the second quarter and fourth quarter. From what I gather, there's 12 teams in the league and they play four games in their season. The Philadelphia Passion plays both in Trenton and now at PPL Park in Chester. And they consider Chester Philadelphia. So this was their first home game. So the only question that's left to answer is, can these girls play football? It didn't take long to get that question answered. So following the introductions, we have the flags and the hype on the sideline and everybody profiling, coach getting the team ready, and then the coin toss. Well, from the sidelines to the gridiron, here's how the game started. As Clyde Frazier would say, the Jacksonville Breeze was having an auspicious start, especially after this play. Adrian Burnell for the Breeze touchdown. 31 yards. The 
ladies from the Passion shook it off and got themselves together. Yeah, that was a good play. But there's nothing like celebrating a score. So Philadelphia goes into the locker room down by six with the score 13 to seven. There was an interview for TV and then this ratchetness. This was a contest where the winner gets a chance to tackle this young lady. Go! Here comes Donna. All right, let's get back to football. Now, ladies do get thirsty and they do get injured, but they do play football hard. First and ten for the passion from their own six. And women have tempers too. They were scrapping right there on the field. And you know us guys like that kind of stuff. Okay, but cooler heads have to regroup. Yeah, those Philadelphia ladies were getting the momentum in the second half. So this is the touchdown that gave Philadelphia a two-point lead with about two minutes to go at the end of the game. And then watch what happens. Listen to the crowd, you'll see what they want. And gosh darn it, the last play of the game. And the sellout crowd of 15,000 rose to their feet and cheered on the Philadelphia Passion as they stopped the Jacksonville Breeze. Darn near by the end zone in four straight plays. Philadelphia just ran out the clock and then celebrated the rest of the night. Well, who was I fooling thinking I was only going to go down there and watch half a game? I was literally going to leave at halftime, but after seeing what was going on, how entertaining it was, how fun the crowd was, how good the ladies were playing football, and yeah, how good they looked, I decided to stick around. Hope to be available when you come back. <laughs>